thing. Um, you need to be critical about stuff. Um, but you don't want to, to be so critical that, you know, you can't enjoy things. Um, you, you don't want to necessarily uh, go to a magnolia plantation or something like that and say, racist, 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 racist. Um, uh, that's, that's sort of one extreme. There's certainly there's stuff there, I would argue, but, but still, I mean, there, there, there's other things going on there. Um, and then, of course, the other side is just being a, sort of a, a dope about things, a passive dope, just going, la di da di da di da this is neat, yeah, yeah, and not being sort of critical about much of anything at all. So, so sort of in, 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 the, uh, in the middle, don't, don't go all hyperbolic or, or exaggerate your, your interpretations of certain things, which I, you know, us, we academics tend to do that sometimes. But also, uh, don't, don't, don't lack that critical lens when you go um, and take these types of tours, uh, particularly heritage sites. Um, and, or, or just life. I mean, just constantly sort of, you know, be critical about things. Um, that's important. That's arte. Okay, the second thing here, uh, eudaimonia. Uh, remember, it was human good, human flourishing, human happiness. Um, what, when I was sort of reflecting on this idea here, my idea... Or what I cling to was um, the Jacqueline Smith stuff from the uh, last chapter that we read. Um, Jacqueline Smith, I, th I think, is sort of doing this counter-protest or counter-memorial uh, to uh, the National Civil Rights Museum. Um, that, that was really interesting. Um, and one of the things that struck me about what the author said is that at the end of the day, Jacqueline Smith might not have been good for business. Um, but perhaps she was good for humanity. And she was good for humanity because she offered a different perspective. She created a sense of dialogue and debate. It wasn't just one-sided. Um, and so hopefully, uh, th through your own tours, um, or again, yeah, just life, constantly think about things from that sort of dialogic, um, dialogic, or... or um, sort of multiple perspectives, you know, here's this side, here's this other side, you know, sort of always in your mind sort of trying to think about the, the, the multiple voices, the multiple stories, the multiple perspectives uh, that uh, are out there all the time and, and in conversation uh, with one another because I think if you start, if we all start, you know, listening to other folks a little bit more and, and we go back and forth, uh, perhaps we can come up with uh, much better um, ideas and solutions to our, our contemporary problems because, again, one of the big things about this book um, and about the processes of tourism is uh, they argue that we part of the process of going to these places is contemplating uh, how we can solve present problems. And when we think about present problems in our society, there's problems of inequality, problem, I mean, there's so many different problems out there, um, and, and part of being an educated person, I think, is trying to come up with solutions to make our world a better place, as hokey as that sounds. Um, I'd like to buy a world of Coke. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and Doth, too. And Zod is bad, Superman is good, Hardee's is bad, Diet Coke is bad. Aspartame is. Mm, uh, so that's Eudaimonia. The uh, the next bit, uh, the idea of te teleological logic, is sort of verging into entelechy. Um, we're always on the road. We're always moving. I think as as communication scholars. Um, as students, and we're all students, or we're all teachers all at the same time, um, to a deeper and more complex understanding of communication, of rhetoric, of memory, of place, of humanity. Um, it's a constant process, and so hopefully you have sort of, this class has helped you think a little bit more deeply about things, but, but again, we're, we're constantly moving toward a better and more deeper understanding of that type of stuff, and so um, hopefully that's one thing uh, that you got.
and that you can apply. Again, you're just constantly moving, try, constantly trying to be, be better. Um, when, you, when you start stagnating, um, that's bad. So always move forward, or always move. We're on our way. And then I end here, um, which is actually the final slide, uh, as I began again with Willie Nelson's um, excellent um, song on the road again. I was going to get that out the guitar, but I, I don't know the chords. Um, I hardly know any chords. Um, but but if you want to, you can you can listen to the uh, this beautiful tune. Um, and it's again metaphorical because we've been on the road but we are always forever on the road so <laughs> oh my god. My gosh. This is one of the most exciting moments of my entire career to introduce one of the greatest entertainers I've ever known. This guy is certainly an American original, ladies and gentlemen. Make him welcome, my good buddy. I recorded with him yesterday. Willie Nelson! Buddy! Like that. Just drop the book. It's on the road. We're gonna sing this together. You ready? He's getting his guitar. See you. Even though our class is ending, uh, we are always on the road again. Take care, work hard. I look forward to uh, seeing your papers.